probably not a profession in the modern world that suffers from a greater sense of crisis of identity, uh, like the pastoral calling, pastoral vocation. So the book is really about that. What does it mean to be a pastor? And our contribution to that question is we want to be raising or resurrecting an ancient vision uh, for the identity of the pastor, namely the pastor as theologian or the pastor theologian. What is a pastor theologian, you're, you're wondering? It is someone who finds their vocational identity in the church. That's their vocational home. That's their pl primary place of calling, not the academy, but the church. And so they're a pastor. And yet at the same time, it's a person who feels a deep, profound responsibility to not be merely a purveyor of theology, but a contributor to theology, an intellectual and theological leader for the life of the church, and so a pastor theologian. Theologians have, in the history of the church, predominantly been pastors. And we give lots and lots of examples of that and, and try to demonstrate that. I think that's a distinctive. We haven't come across that kind of an argument elsewhere. Another important distinctive is um, the, at the level of definition, where we define what it means to be a pastor theologian. One of the things we do in the book is develop a taxonomy or a breakdown of different kinds of pastor theologians, and we refer to three different types, a local theologian, a popular theologian, and an ecclesial theologian. That's a distinctive contribution, I think, of the book and will enrich the conversation about what it means to be a pastor theologian. We spend um, a, a lengthy chapter at the end of the book fleshing out how you might live out the calling of a pastor theologian in the life of a local church. And we try to walk through very practical, tactical things about working with an elder board or a leadership board and how to manage and organize your time and how to think about your reading uh, agenda and, and, and how you, you continue to educate yourself. And, um, if you don't have a grad or a terminal degree, a PhD, how to think about that and the way that might contribute to your development as a pastor. Uh, we also hope that the book and wrote the book for uh, different constituencies, if you will. We wrote the book for pastors, first of all, who wrestle with their identity, wrestle with their sense of vocational calling. And we hope the book's vision uh, will provide some clarity and some encouragement uh, to them to uh, live into the calling of being the theologian for uh, the church and the life of, of their particular church. We wrote the book also for students. I think there's many students that, that we've interacted with uh, over the years that we've been engaged in this conversation who wrestle with the tension between having a love for the life of the church and wanting to be a pastor and sensing that calling, but also as they're going through graduate school or seminary, developing a real passion and love for scholarship and the life of the mind and theology. They often, I think, come to um, a, a f what feels existentially like a fork in the road where they have to either choose to serve the church or uh, pursue the life of the mind. We wrote the book to say there is a third way to be pursued here, which is the way of the pastor theologian, where you can um, serve the church as a pastor and yet continue to cultivate the life of the mind and contribute to the life of the mind through theological um, in biblical scholarship. We also wrote the book for uh, the church, for congregants, to encourage their imagination, <laughs> to, to put before them a picture of what a pastor can be and why this, this sort of calling and living out of the pastoral vocation uh, is, is a win-win for everyone. Raises the theological water table in the life of the church, so to speak, enriches uh, the, the spiritual depth and vitality of the church. So we, we, um, we're ultimately interested in uh, the renewal of the local church. And the contribution of the book is to say, hey, listen, we believe that pastor theologian is not the, not the sole solution by any means. It's not the silver bullet, but it is a critical, critical uh, piece in the renewal of the local church. Thank you.